it's one. Hello, Moti. Um, in LA, and um, I wanted to tell you that apparently Elijah's on Jalen off tonight, and Orly's on Friday. So I just wanted to tell you that. Um, um, we, it looks like we got a pretty good spot, so we can maybe actually see him. And the person that's right next to me is uh, has met Orlando Bloom. So good luck. <laughs> we got good here. Thanks. Bye. Message to I was in um, It's uh, the morning after, and uh, I think we had a few tonight. It was a long one and uh, had ups and downs, but I think it turned out great. So, um, so I got to. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go. We'll try to reach you later. Work. Bye.
My next guest is a popular and talented young actor from England. Uh, some of the films include Black Hawk Down, Pirates of the Caribbean, the last two Lord of the Rings, of course. His new movie is the final chapter in the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy, Return of the King. It opens nationwide on the 17th. Please welcome Orlando Bloom. Great to have you here. You're on the cover of all the magazines on GQ. Very cool. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Wow. Now, now, tell, <laughs> now tell us, I, I know you're from England, but whereabouts? Uh, Canterbury and Kent, just outside of okay. uh, just outside okay. London. Okay, you grew up there. Okay. Yeah. Now, when did, you, when did you get into the whole show business? When did you first do a play or get on stage or anything of that nature? Um, you know, I always, I always really loved um, performing as a kid. Um, I once, uh, my first performance was a little embarrassing because I, um, I was doing a play at the local theatre and it was like quite a big deal because it was the whole, the whole of Canterbury was there. And um, I was a monkey dressed in a monkey suit and there were three of us. And um, this monkey suit was really hot, you know, it was like one of those sort of synthetic suits. And, and I was only four. And I'll never forget it, and I think it sort of lived with me ever since. I've been, like, really paranoid about making the same mistake, but I, um, I itched my, my butt on stage because it was, like, I had this terrible itch. And, of course, the, the audience went mad with laughter, but I was a monkey, so, I mean, it was sort right, of... Right, that seemed to. But I was like, what did I do? Because I'd sort of broken the routine, you know, out of what I was supposed to be doing. So I was like, uh. And, um, well, so know. it was sort of... I was going to say, Stage considering point. the other things monkeys do, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Yeah. <laughs> now, when did you leave, when did you first leave home to do acting and all that? How long? Uh, I was uh, about 16. I oh, moved okay. to London. But I, I'd sort of finished my education in London, and um, I sort of moved from Canterbury up to London because my best friend was at university up there, and, okay. and I sort of felt like the big city was the place to go if I was yeah. going to make it as an actor. So you went to acting school, and mm -hmm. do you do all those sort of theatrical... Uh, you, you know the exercises and all. Oh that. yeah, I went to I went to drama school. So um, yeah, I was I was at, at Guildhall for three years, and, and they get you to do all sorts of um, all, all sorts of exercises to get you in the, you know, to help you to loosen up and to sort of be natural and stuff. Um, one of the exercises we had to do was we had to go and study animals at the zoo. Um, <laughs> You know, in order to find, because it's quite a useful way into a character actually to find the animal's movement or whatever. And um, I, I kind of wanted to be an ape because, you know, I, I kind of like the idea of being a silver bat, you know. Oh, that's, yeah. that's very um, ape-like. Yeah. yeah, but, um, but my, my, um, my teacher insisted on me being a lizard so I wouldn't do things like that. Yeah. yeah. And I had this sort of more stillness and composure, so I was, um, I was a lizard. And uh, that just meant I just had to hold this one position for like hours on end and occasionally jot my head and yeah. stick my tongue out. Can you, it was, have you still got the lizard tongue out? Because that could come out handy, you actually. You want to see my tongue do yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Oh, very good. That was quite good. That was quite good. That was, that was quite good. And, and you're actually, I understand, you, you, I know you ride motorcycles like I do, so I just said something. Of, yeah, I have ridden bike. bikes, yeah. But did you, did you break your back once? Did I hear that? I did, yeah. And how did... That kind of changed my life. I, um, I was... I was 21 and I some friends had a roof had, a, had an apartment with a roof terrace on the landing below their apartment right and the door had been walked by the weather it needed kicking open from the outside in um, and I walked into their apartment I was like wow this is great I looked out the window and the roof terrace was like a meter and a half to the left and down and I thought oh, I could just hop across but instead I got onto this piece of lead flashing running down the wall like a right. drain pipe but not and um, I, I it, it just fell back. I didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it was rusty and old and it wasn't much to hold on to and I fell back three floors and landed. Fell on three a, floors? Yeah. Oh. I, I had a sort of really narrow escape because I landed on a roof terrace below that was belonging to the neighbours, you know, below and, and it, there was an old washing machine that was left out and, it, and I fell in between the, old, the railings that were going around it and, um, and the washing machine and I was just like there and they couldn't get to me because there was nobody in the apartment. They had to get helicopters and fire, an wow. fire, fire engines to try and get to me. It was like, it was pretty trippy, so. Well, I mean, when you break your back, aren't you sort of usually confined to a wheelchair? I mean, that's pretty serious. Yeah, it was I a mean, very I... narrow escape. They, they told me I wouldn't walk for a, for a while. Um, they, they didn't think for the first four days because I had no strength in my legs. But yeah. I bruised my spinal cord and, um, and I hadn't severed it. So I was, I was very, very lucky. And it sort of um, kind of changed my whole 
whole approach to life. Yeah. Because I was a little bit reckless, you know. I'd broken my leg on a motorbike, and yeah. I'd uh, I'd sort of broken my other leg skiing and snowboarding, done had injuries, and you right. know. Not very elf-like. <laughs> like Legolas would never fall off a motorbike, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it was. Um, it just it was. I, I kind of think of it as a really good thing, you know. I think yeah. things that happen to you for that 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 feel like they're going to ruin your life. Actually, there's always something really positive to have out. Of it. I think it's a good attitude to have. Now, now tell us about uh, tell us about Return of the King. Or, or, was it Return of the King? Yeah. T yes. Tell us. I mean, this is these are epic movies. I, I I'm astounded when I see them how how visual they are. It's almost, you, know, you just have to see them like four times ago. Yeah. Hey, I didn't see that dragon in the corner before. Yeah, right. I mean, uh, uh, tell us about what happens in this one. Tell us good um, well, this is the last chapter of the three, and I think the last third of any movie is always like the most exciting, you know, mm -hmm. and because it's, it's sort of the dramatic conclusion to, to what's been two films already and the third. So, um, really, you, you get a sense of closure on this, and you, you see what happens to the ring. And I mean, if you don't know, I mean, the books obviously are quite well read and right. well known and everything, but basically it all ends well. But you just get a real sense of, you know, Aragorn becomes king, Frodo and Sam go off to Mount Doom and, and do their business with the ring, and yeah. it's, um, it sort of works out well. And you have blonde hair and blue eyes. That's right, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's take, a, let's take a look. Here's the, uh... He's not a natural blonde. No. <laughs> Let's, let's take a look. Here's the scene. What's happening here? Do you know the scene? Do you know this is, um, I think this is as we enter the parts of the dead. This is about Aragorn assuming his responsibility to become a king. Part of it, he can call on the dead okay. to help him fight. So, um, let's take a look. The very warmth of my blood seems stolen away. <laughs> the way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. The way is shut. How many of you saw the fabulous movie Lord of the Rings? Woo! Huge movie. I know. I weaned my kids up on those books, the best books written. Anyway, Dominic Moynihan is a very good friend of mine, and he's agreed to come to the house today to sit and talk with us. And I think you might need this to refresh yourselves, because he played one of those little hobbit people. I think it was Merry. Have a look. What's making that noise? It's the trees. What? Do you remember the old forest? On the borders of Buckland? Folk used to say there was something in the water that made the trees grow tall. And come on. Welcome to America. I know. Welcome to America. Actually, he's a family friend. That's why I'm allowed to do How this. How are you, darling? I only do it to my friends. I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, this is just like your house. It is, isn't it? It's great. I know. It's all cozy and friendly and all my friends are here. We can all have a big sleepover and I know. chill out. Got Nosh over there. We can we eat. We do? Yeah. Nice. A little bedroom over there. But no Jack, no Kelly. No, no But I've got around. you, Dom. I know, right? I've got you, Dom. Just before Dom came out here, he was on the phone to Kelly. Yeah, I was. She was saying how, uh, how nervous you were. 
about the show and how you were, you know, <laughs> just trying to get it working all right. And, and I said, She's, you've got nothing to worry about. So enough about Kelly. Okay, yeah. Come on, you. Okay. All right, when's, the next, when's the next one coming out, the old Lord of the Rings? Yeah, that big, just beast of a movie. Uh, the 17th of December. And that's the last out. one? That's the last one, unless they want to do The Hobbit, I guess. How long did it take to do the three? to actually make them? Well, principal photography was, uh, I was over there uh, August, um, start of August 99, and then we finished in December of 2000. So, over a year and a half. Oh you know, gradually the films got bigger and bigger, and, and we've, I guess, become a little bit kind of more known in, in Wellington. So, you know, when we were filming there, we could walk down the street and kind of do whatever we wanted. And now it's kind of... Now, bit, like, you're the celebs in a town. Bit crazy, yeah. But it's good, you know, because we, we were given opportunities to, like, go DJing in bars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can go to all these cool restaurants. And it's good, man. It's good. But, uh, but you still decided to move to L.A. Yeah, All yeah. of that about New Zealand, you still decided to move here. Well, it's where the work is, you know. I mean, I can't yeah, get away. Yeah, and the weather and the women. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and the, yeah. You know, know, the good clothes and you can, you know, go surfing. And L.A.'s a really cool town, I think, if you're single and you've got, you know, not a lot of responsibilities, which I don't have at the moment. And uh, All right, girls, listen. You can just fool about. Single. Single. <laughs> single. All right, now, I want to ask you one question. Yeah. Who's got that bloody ring? Elijah. Does he? Yeah. He's got the ring. Do you know the what they ring. did, though? Do you know what they did this year? It was Go really on. cool. They gave, uh, they gave Elijah the ring at the end of the first uh, film, and then they gave Andy Serkis, the guy who plays Gollum, the ring at the end of uh, refilming this year. And Elijah was really, really annoyed that they gave <laughs> it to him. Because now there's two rings. So now there's Gollum got one and Frodo got one, so they got to fight for it. But I thought that was cool. We got feet. Uh, Billy and I and Sean Astin and Elijah all got a pair of feet. The each. Hobbit feet. Hobbit feet. All right, now the name of your Hobbit, it's Mary Buck. Mary. Mary a Duck Brandy Buck. Mary a Just Duck Just rolls off the tongue, right? Brandy Buck. I mean, yeah, Mary a Duck Brandy Buck. And then there's Peregrine Tuck, Pippin, Frodo Baggins, Samwise Gamgee. And you're... Um, you're just finished another film, right? Yeah, I just finished two films, actually, in England. One was called, uh, Spivs which is like a kind of gangster London drama, like yeah. a lock stock kind of deal. Yeah. I play a long-haired, greasy, bearded stoner. Uh, never got a spliff out of my mouth the whole entire that time. That must have been hard. Yeah, it was rough, man. Really hard. Really tough. A stretch. Yeah, it was Go hard. On. And then uh, the second one is uh, called The Purifiers, and that was uh, an English uh, kung fu movie. Yeah. Did you learn all that? I did this thing called wushu. Did you make the noises? Which is... Oh! Which is, wait, that's just me releasing my chi, by the way. That's all I'm doing now. Uh, your chi? My chi. That's what I was told. I was making all these noises and these guys are going, that's all right, you're just releasing your chi. And I no, was like, literally, oh, okay. did you have to like work yeah, out I learned, for it? Yeah, I learned this thing called wushu, which is what the Shaolin do. So like in nine weeks, you can't learn that much. But I'm already all, lost. Wow. Hold here. Wushu, what the Shaolin do. Yeah, it's good, right? Okay, yeah, I'm thing. with you. I'm with wushu. you, all right. Yeah, it's all, it's all kind of like uh, using whatever people think is their advantage against them. So if someone's bigger than you, yeah. you use their weight against them you know someone's small and they're faster you use the fact that they're fast as a disadvantage to them it's all very complicated and, and i guess chinese yes but, uh, chinese yeah good though good fun so i got those two out? um probably like february march they'll both be out in england and then i'm going to do a push to get them over in in america in like april may but, you, like but the new lord of the rings is coming out in december december 17th mm. huge am i going to be doing this big tour again <laughs> You'll come in here. I'll come in and you'll we'll see you. Back. And you're going to come to the premiere, right, in L.A.? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Oh. Well. I love you. I love you too. Yes. Come on, Dominic. My first guest, extremely talented young actor, currently starring in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, which opens December 17th. Please welcome Elijah Wood.